湾公广集团，华视教育文化频道。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道，接下来要播出的是英语口语训练二。Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Conversational English, Book Two. Today we have a new unit for you, Unit Three. Lesson Seven is going to take us to a clothing store, but we should first take a look at our lesson preview, which will introduce the whole unit. As you can see, Unit Three contains three lessons, in which the Hudsons have. Shopping and errands to take care of before leaving for Hong Kong on a business trip. Lesson seven concerns shopping for clothes. Okay, 好，所以呢，刚刚前面已经讲到，我们今天呢，同学要进入一个新的单元哦，就是 Unit Three。那这包含了三课，也就是六、七、八这三课。那么我们会学到的就是这个呃 ，Hudson 夫妇呢，为了要去香港的出差，所以呢，他们要做一些 shopping。那这个第七课，我们要先去看到的 shopping 就是 for clothes， 就是他们的衣服的这个采买了。Okay. Okay. Uh, Unit Three, remember, is lessons seven, eight, and nine. That's right. And today we start with the clothes shopping. So let's take a look at this long dialogue first. Something I can help you with? Uh, not right now, thanks. We'd like to look around first. If I have any questions, I'll ask you later. Fine. I'll be at the checkout counter. Gee, they have a lot of nice-looking stuff here. Hmm. Remember, we're just leaving for a day, so we need to buy only one new outfit for each of us. I always feel better in new clothing, so I think it's worth our while to feel and look at our best. Hmm, I couldn't agree more with you there. Oh, oh, look! Uh, here are the men's shirts. Oh. Um. These are nice. And do you want a solid or a striped shirt? Oh, I like stripes, thin stripes. I think you look better in those too. Here's a nice blue one. That's too dark, don't you think? This lighter shade looks friendlier. Oh, you're finally catch on to fashion. <laughs> oh, here's one your size. And now let's go find a pack of slacks that matches the shirt. These are nice. They're a dark blue, and they're made of a wool blend. They certainly match the shirts, and you can wear them in almost any season. I hope they have your size. What do you mean hope? Of course they will. <laughs> Here. <laughs> 
Here's the 36 short. If they are too long, they'll adjust the length. Now let's look for your clothes. Do you want a skirt and blouse or business suit? Um, we're interior designers, so I don't want to look too formal. This is a meeting, but with only three people. I'd like slacks, a top, and a jacket. You really have clothes all figured out. Oh, look, there's the uh, women's department. Okay, let's go. I can't believe I found everything I wanted in such a short time. I'll be sure to call the Guinness World Records. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. <clears throat> and now let's go and pay for all this. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thanks. Uh, how much is that? Um, just a minute. comes to $14,590. Will this be cash or charge? Uh, use my credit card. Thank you. There we go. Um, I'll bag these while we wait for the receipt. Um, if you'll just sign here, Mr. Hudson. Thank you. Here's your card. Thanks for shopping at Client Clothing. Have a nice day. You too. You too. Well, that's quite a long dialogue, as mm -hmm. I said, so let's take a short break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the words and phrases. We have a long list of words, too, so let's get right down to business with number one. Specialize in. Specialize in. 专门. That restaurant specializes in roast duck. It's their house special. 这家餐厅呢, Checkout counter. Checkout counter. 结账柜台. We've got everything we need to buy, so let's go to the checkout counter. Be worth one's while. Be worth one's while. 值得. It's worth every student's while to preview class material before a lesson and then review it afterwards. Solid. Solid. I bought two shirts in solid colors, blue and red. Striped, striped. 条文. A striped shirt has the stripes going up and down rather than sideways. 条文衬衫的条文是直向而非横向的. Shade, shade. 色调. 
This shade of red is a dark pink. 这种红色的色调是深粉红的。A word like shade has many possible meanings. We've talked about this before, but shade is a, another very good example. The shade of a tree or a shade of meaning are all closely related to this idea of a shade of color. Okay, 好，我们这里学到这个字，刚布鲁斯老师补充说，这个呃，除了色调这样的用法之外，其实 shade 是英文里面一个有很多种不同用法的一个字。那像刚举的第一个例子呢，这个树下的阴影啊、呃，这个 shade of tree 这是一种用法。那另外呢，这个 shade of meaning 呢，指的就是说这个有一些同意的字，可是呢，它们在这个性质或用法上又稍微有点不同。这个要请布鲁斯老师帮我们举个例子，同学会比较清楚。All right. Uh, 问题 in Chinese covers two different things for us in English: problem and question. Question is good, and I'm curious about something. I want to know something. Problem is always a situation uh, or condition, uh, not just something that we think of. OK， 好，所以呢，这边呢，布鲁斯老师刚刚举这个例子啊、哦，个人的问题，因为好奇想问的，跟呢现在整个状况出问题了啊、哦，这种呃，你就是我刚刚讲的同意，可是它其实又有些不同，那这就是所谓的 shade of meaning。OK。All right, let's go on now with number seven. Catch on to. Catch on to. 有头绪。If you play a couple of card games with us, you'll catch on to it very fast. 你跟我们玩几场牌之后，就很快会上手了。Match. Match. 搭配。Dad chose a solid blue tie to match his striped red shirt. 爸爸选了一条蓝色的领带来搭配红色的条纹衬衫。Short, short. 短板 Edwin isn't very tall, so he usually has to buy pants that are short, not medium or long. 爱德温不太高，所以通常他都买短版的长裤，而不会买中等或长的 Length, length. 长度 The length of that swimming pool is 50 meters. 这座游泳池的长度是五十公尺 Skirt, skirt. 短裙 Jerry's skirt was too short, so she had to go back home from school to change it. 杰瑞的短裙太短了，所以她得从学校回家去换一件。Blouse, blouse. 衬衫 Barbara's silk blouse was so beautiful that it was the envy of the other girls at the party. 芭芭拉的丝质衬衫十分的漂亮，让其他参加派对的女孩都羡慕不已 Slacks, slacks. 长裤 Besides hiking shoes, you'll need to wear slacks rather than shorts for the hike up the mountain. 在登山的时候，除了要穿登山鞋之外，你也必须要穿着长裤而不是短裤。Top, top. 上衣。Vanessa's top was sleeveless and very thin, so she had to wear a jacket over it that night. 凡妮莎的上衣是无袖的，又非常的薄，所以那个晚上她必须要再加一件夹克。Jacket, jacket. 夹克。Even in the summer, some people wear a jacket when riding their motorcycles. 即使在夏天，有些人在骑摩托车的时候，还是会穿上一件夹克。Guinness World Records. Guinness World Records. 金氏世界纪录 
one of the most interesting books in the world to find out the most extreme facts is the Guinness World Records. Guinness World Records is the most interesting book in the world to find out the most extreme facts. The Guinness World Records is the most interesting book in the Come to, come to. 共计为 We bought several pizzas and drinks for the party. The bill came to over two thousand dollars. 我们为了派对买了一些披萨跟饮料，总金额超过了两千元 Will this be cash or charge? Will this be cash or charge? 要刷卡还是付现 Will this be cash or charge? It's only a hundred dollars, so I'll pay in cash. 请问要刷卡还是付现？呃、uh, ，总共只有一百元，我就付现金 Credit card. Credit card. 信用卡 Some students thought that credit cards were easy money, but they ended up in big trouble. 有些学生以为用信用卡付钱是很容易的，但最后他们通常会遇上大麻烦。Swipe, swipe. 刷。In order to enter the hotel room, you'll have to swipe your room key. And wait for the green light. You 必须刷走房卡，并等待绿灯亮起，才能进入饭店的房间。Bag, bag. 装袋。The clerk at the checkout counter bagged the old woman's groceries and then carried them out to her car for her. 结账柜台的店员帮老太太买的杂货装袋，并且帮她拿到车上。Receipt, receipt. 收据。If you want to return any clothing, you'll need your receipt. 如果你想要退任何的衣服，你必须会用到你的收据。Please remember this word. The P is silent. There's no receipt. Receipt. Okay, 这里提醒大家就是那个 P 哦、oh ，它是 silent 的意思是不发音，所以呢就是 receipt 不会出现 put， 就是刚刚布鲁斯老师发的这样子的一个状况，要小心。Right. All right. A couple more words to go. Approve. Approve. 核准。Dan's loan was approved by the bank, so he was able to buy a new car. Before you can cash this check, you'll have to sign it on the back. In your transaction, you must sign the check on the back of the envelope. Okay, as usual, we'll take a short break and come back for an extra serving. An extra serving this week is about the radio program. Please listen to it. And you learn some new words about both clothing and tailoring. Remember, clothes make the man and woman. Okay, so in the next week's information dump, in the radio program, the teacher will teach you some new words about clothing, tailoring, and tailoring. So, Bruce teacher said that it's very important. Why? Because people need to dress up. So, it's called the radio program. So, the teacher will teach you some new words about clothing, tailoring, and tailoring. So, the teacher will teach you some new words about clothing, tailoring, and tailoring. Okay. That's an old saying. Today we would probably add "and woman." 没有错 ，OK。所以呢，这个要注意，千万不要错过。All right. Now let's take a look at our quiz. The、uh, clothing world today 
is changing, and so sometimes we make clothing that either sex can wear. Uh, we can say both sexes can wear it, but some clothes are still traditionally for men or women, and we've made a very short and fun exercise or quiz for you to do today. For each item, you will be able to write either F for female, M for male, or B for both. Both sexes can wear this kind of clothing, and the answer should be usually, normally, not exceptionally. Let's take a look at number one. The question is, top, who wears a top? Well, in English, we refer to tops as women wearing them, so write F for female. Okay, 好，我们来看到第一题呢。Top 上衣在英文里面通常它是专门给女性来用的，就是女生的上衣，所以我们会选 F， 就是 female. The next item is socks. Of course, this should be B. Both men and women, boys and girls, wear socks. 嗯，好，所以接下来第二个 socks 是袜子，当然男生跟女生都会穿得到的，所以这里我们填 B. The next item is blouse. Now, a blouse is worn only by women. For men, we say shirt, although women can wear shirts too. But men, most men, would not dare wear a blouse. That's for women. So write F. Okay, 这里我们学到另外一个也是英文里专门给女生用的这个字，就是衬衫哦 ，blouse。所以这里要选的是 F. And the next item is jacket. Now anyone can wear a jacket, and it has different meanings.、Uh, if you remember the sample、uh, sentence we provided for you, it talked about a motorcycle jacket, and that will be a thick, heavy, often leather jacket to protect the rider from the wind and the cold. But a jacket can also be part of a suit. And since women these days often wear a business suit, the top part that goes over the shirt, that's also a jacket, or sometimes something very thin,、uh, just to keep the wind off you on a cool evening, that can also be a jacket. So anyone can wear a jacket. Write B for both. All right. 接下来我们看到夹克这个字呢，刚刚提到布鲁斯老师说呢，其实夹克在英文里面有很多种，所以像这个呃，我们例句里面讲到那个机车骑士穿的那种又厚又重，而且通常是皮做的那种，也算一种 jacket。那么呢，女孩子呢，现在的这个上班的套装啊、呃，我们穿的衬衫之后，外面会再加一件，有点类似像西装外套这样子的，也是叫 jacket。那甚至有时候比较凉的晚上，你可能外面罩一件薄薄的外套，它只是呃让自己不要那么冷，那种也可以。叫 jacket， 所以这里的答案当我们会选两者皆是。Excellent translation. You said everything that I said. I know. Thank you. Wow. Okay, let's go on. Our last item is tie that you can see right here. Normally, that is for men,、uh, even though for certain uniforms, a military uniform,、uh, sometimes a school uniform, and so on. Women also wear ties, but that's not usually ascribed to women. So we'll call this one M for men. 好，那么最后一题的答案呢？领带一般来说呢，在英文里面是专门给男生用的，所以我们会选的是 M male. All right, that's it for the quiz.、Mm -hmm. Now all we have to do is to watch the dialogue for the second and final time. Yep. Client clothing. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, not right now, thanks. We'd like to look around first. If I have any questions, I'll ask you later. Fine. I'll be at the checkout counter. Gee, they have a lot of nice-looking stuff here. Hmm. Remember, 
We are just leaving for a day, so we need to buy only one new outfit for each of us. I always feel better in new clothing, so I think it's worth our while to feel and look at our best. Hmm. I couldn't agree more with you there. Oh, oh look, uh, here are the men's shirts. Oh. Um. These are nice. And do you want a solid or a striped shirt? Oh, I like stripes, thin stripes. Okay. I think you look better in those too. Here's a nice blue one. That's too dark, don't you think? This lighter shade looks friendlier. Oh, you're finally catch on to fashion. <laughs> oh, here's one your size. And now let's go find a pack of slacks that matches the shirt. These are nice. They're a dark blue, and they're made of a wool blend. They certainly match the shirts, and you can wear them in almost any season. I hope they have your size. What do you mean, hope? Of course they will. <laughs> but here. Here's a 36 short. If they are too long, they'll adjust the length. Now let's look for your clothes. Do you want a skirt and blouse or business suit? Um, we're interior designers, so I don't want to look too formal. This is a meeting, but with only three people. I'd like slacks, a top, and a jacket. You really have clothes all figured out. Oh, look, there's the uh, women's department. Okay, let's go. I can't believe I found everything I wanted in such a short time. I'll be sure to call the Guinness World Records. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. <clears throat> and now let's go and pay for all this. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, thanks. Uh, how much is that? Um, just a minute. That comes to $14,590. Will this be cash or charge? Uh, use my credit card. Thank you. There we go. Um, I'll bag these while we wait for the receipt. <laughs> um, if you just sign here, Mr. Hudson. Here's your card. Thanks for shopping at Client Clothing. Have a nice day. You too. You too. So that wraps up lesson seven. The Hudsons go to a clothing store, mm -hmm. but over the next two lessons, they have quite a few more chores or errands to do. Be sure to join us right here for lesson eight next week in this unit three. Until then, bye-bye.